Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Wild Goose Lake, a Chinese crime thriller drama from 2019. This has a connection to the Chinese film Black Coal Thin Ice, because it's from the same director, Dao Yinan, and has the same actress, Kwai Lun Mei. And it's also a thriller, uh, has a thriller element to it. Now, I did review Black Coal Thin Ice previously on this channel. Very impressive film. But does Wild Goose Lake reach the same heights? Let's find out here. Now, there's a very good plot synopsis on a website called avclub.com that I would like to quote and paraphrase here. All right. So, on a wet night at a station on the outskirts of the Chinese city of Wuhan, a man with cuts on his face is approached by a woman with a plastic see-through umbrella. He is Zhou Zenong, played by Hu Gei, the fugitive leader of a local gang of motorcycle thieves. She is Lu Ai, played by Kui Lun Mei, an apparent ally of this man. For Zhou, everything began to go wrong two nights ago when one of his henchmen shot a rival gang leader in the knee with a flare gun at a meeting in the basement of a hotel. Things go from bad to worse, with Zhou on the run after killing a cop that he mistook for a rival gangster. So that was a big mistake. So with the authorities offering a 300,000 yuan reward for his capture, Zhou has not only resigned himself to his fate, but found in it a path to personal redemption. All he needs to do is find someone he can trust to give him up to the police so they can claim the reward money and then give it to his wife and son that he abandoned for a life of crime. So that's kind of your setup for the whole film. So Wild Goose Lake certainly has its memorable moments. There's a great gang meeting at the very beginning of this movie. Someone gives a, a very informative demonstration on how to steal scooters, which I found quite interesting. The problem is that these guys at this meeting start arguing about territory assignments. So this scene then morphs into like a violent skirmish that utilizes some surprisingly good fighting moves. You know, it's kind of a short scene, but it nicely uh, blends in some serious drama, some black humor, and some good fighting. I'd actually like to see this director do an action movie at some point in the future. He's definitely a better action director than Fruit Chan, that's for sure. So overall, this film does have some you know, very good conflict to it. it, has a few surprising moments. One of the highlights is how it's directed. Very nicely shot, great camera work and framing. You can notice this as early as the opening scene of the film. You know, it's like raining. Uh, our two protagonists meet in a, like a yellow lit underpass area. And I'm a sucker for movies that take place mostly at night, which this one does especially when colorful lighting is used in conjunction with it. So Wild Goose Lake uh, worked quite well for me aesthetically. Very easy to get into a movie with this much atmosphere. And I think Dao Yi Nan is another director to follow and look out for in the future. Now Kwai Lun Mei, great actress. I've said this many times before. I think in these movies, this and Black Hole Thin Ice, her, 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 her character's have been a little bit more one note than some of her prior uh, roles. But I think that she makes she makes it work because she could sell the realism so well. So even though she has kind of a, I guess, a one note disposition in a lot of these, uh, or these past few films with this director, she's still really good. So that's how good of an actress she is. And I will say though, her haircut in this movie is the worst haircut of her entire career. I mean, it, it, her hair was just like butchered in this movie. I, I did not like her, her haircut, <laughs> but it's a minor gripe. There are a few uh, other recognizable faces in this film, especially if you've seen some films from mainland China in recent years. The performances in general are very good. However, if we compare this to Black Coal Thin Ice, Wild Goose Lake does feel slightly more conventional and slightly less interesting in how the story is told. Now, it's a little bit difficult to describe exactly why I feel this way, because it never really descends into like a generic guy on the run flick or anything like that, which is a good thing. But it did feel slightly less dynamic and absorbing at times. Still a good movie, 
quite an impressive film, actually, and there actually is a little bit of social commentary in it as well, but it simply did not intoxicate me as much as Black Coal Thin Ice did. But I do recommend Wild Goose Lake, especially if you enjoyed the last film from this director here. It is available on Amazon, both streaming and in physical media, and as always, we will see you next time.